Hey there, this is Travis. I'm going to help you and walk you through getting set up with web hosting today. And let me tell you, I thought about 50 different ways to do this video, explaining every little detail as we go through what the different definitions mean and terms. And I got to thinking, you know, one of the big things that held me back from getting web hosting was I just got plain confused. So what I'm going to do is not explain everything. I am just going to walk you through uh, the steps on getting set up with your hosting. Now, I realize this it requires a lot of trust from you to me. Uh, but I've been using this company for over a year now uh, and have had no problems. I don't like that they use a little hokey <laughs> alligator there, uh, but they are a very professional company. And they've been able to get on the phone with me anytime I've had troubles, which has only been a couple times throughout the past year. So uh, let's go ahead and start. The big thing you want to look at is this coupon code here. So when you go to uh, the main page, write down this coupon code because that's going to save you a little bit of money. The next step is we're going to go with the cheapest option here, uh, which is $4.95 a month, it says, but that's not exactly true, and I'll show you why here in a second. We're hitting the Order Now button. This is one of those screens where it really confuses a lot of people. You should have already watched the previous video of this, and you have a domain already that you set up which is www dot whatever your domain is dot com so what we're gonna do is I already have my site here and it's how to get my X back and then you have a dot and com over here okay so you should already have this uh, so you just want to click the I will use my existing domain name and update my name servers only so don't even this is really confusing I know just put in your site name you should already have this by now uh, if not you need to go back to the the uh, the file the PDF file I gave you and go ahead and register your domain name with GoDaddy okay and what we want is the hatchling we don't want the baby we want the hatchling and this should already be filled out for you and they're going to hit continue And here's where it, it gets the uh, little trick. They were saying 4.95, but it's really not 4.95. And this part is really up to you. Um, you can just do a, a straight monthly at 8.95, and they charge you an extra five dollars uh, for the setup. But it'd be 8.95 a month. If you want to go out farther, you can get a discount. This is where they're coming up with the four dollars. Uh, if this is your first site, more than likely, this is keep it at monthly at $8.95. And this is where you enter your coupon code in there that we got from the front page. So, um, what was that again? Snowman, right? Cool. Calculate my totals. And we get to their handy dandy calculation screen. Um, and we're saving $2.79 with using the coupon code of Snowman. And then we got to scroll down here. It says, I am a new customer. Ask, actually, I am a, an existing customer, but I know more like if you're watching this, you're not. So I'm going to go ahead and run through this like I'm a, a brand new customer. So we want to hit continue. And then we just fill in this page here. Now I'm going to walk you through this. And I'm going to actually go through it myself. I, <laughs> I kind of freak out about giving them all my personal information. Now, I know I can probably blur it out, but that still freaks me out. But... The first uh, area tells who you are is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, your first name and last name, uh, company name, your address, city, state, country, obviously, and your zip code. Then you want to put in your primary email, and it's really important because we're going to send you some uh, details that you'll have to have to plug into GoDaddy. Uh, so you want to make sure you use a primary email address and try not to use anything free if you don't have to. Um, if you have a Yahoo or Gmail, that's probably not the best ones to go with. If you, if you have a, a standard fixed email account, that would be the best one. Also, you want to put a valid phone number there. And then we're going to be creating a username and a password, and then we're going to verify the password there. And we have a couple payment choices. We can pay by credit card or we can pay by PayPal. Um, and then once we've uh, hit, I have read and agreed to this term of service, you have to hit yes there. You want to do verify my order. 
Okay, so that's that's pretty standard um, and not too difficult. So what I'm gonna do is just pause this right quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my information. And all I'm gonna do next is hit this verify my order. And unless my credit card's declined or something, it's gonna take me to the next page, and I'll catch back up with you. And then after hitting the form, here we are at the order confirmation screen. Now it takes them a, a little bit to set up your account. Uh, and they will email you your account information. I would highly recommend that you start a separate folder and hang on to that email. I'd also recommend that you keep a hard copy uh, folder of, this is of course your first domain or in your first web hosting, but keep a hard copy of all of your logins and such of your different websites. But the next thing you'll be waiting for is the email to come that has what's called your name server on there. And you'll go back to GoDaddy and plug that in. I have that in, in the uh, report as well uh, that shows you how to do that. Once you've got that, you're finished as far as setting up your first domain, getting your web hosting, and then pointing your name server uh, to your web host. And all that really means is that once a person goes to www.yoursite.com, then GoDaddy tells them where your files are located, which is now at HostGator. So you'll be all set up there, and you can set up your blog or what have you, uh, your WordPress blog or your website on your web hosting. Cool, and that's going to be in the report as well, how to get that set up. So I just wanted to walk you through that because I know sometimes we get the definitions that are really, really confusing, and it's an important, important step is to get out there and get your own real estate out there on the web. Okie doke, thanks for listening, and this is Travis at bummarketingmethod.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.